What's up, everybody? Today we have quite a few deals, but before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to join the Facebook group. Lots more deals there. As we can see, Ted just posted this, and unfortunately, I'm not even mentioning it in the video because <laughs> I didn't check the group yet today, but everyone posts deals in there uh, more than just me, so... If you don't want to miss a deal, join the Facebook group. And if you get any value from my videos, please like, leave me a little comment, and share the, the videos. Please, that helps me out tremendously. Also, consider subscribing because that helps me out as well with the YouTube gods. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So, first up, we have this skill um, job site table saw. Uh, it's a 10-inch table saw. It accepts dado blades as well. And uh, the reviews on are pretty good. Now, it's $2.99 on Amazon, and that is a deal for Amazon. But if we go over here to Lowe's, it's $2.99, and, and pretty much it's been $2.99 for a while. So if you're going to buy this, you need one. Someone did ask in the comments recently about a, a, a table saw. I think they said under $300. So here you go. This skill is, is actually really good. Also, you can pause the video and you can read this review from a person on Slick Deals who has owned this saw along with others at the Waltz, the Metabos, Rigid Bosch, all that compared to them side by side. Has some really good information there for you as well. So, yep, yeah, my only recommendation would be if you're going to get it is to get it from Lowe's because 90 day return policy, you don't have to ship anything or anything like that. Amazon is just 30 days. Oh, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Amazon is just 30 days, and so there you have it. Now, if you do choose to get this, remember, another reason you want to get it from Lowe's is Rakuten. If you have not signed up with Rakuten, you get $30 bonus cash back if you use my link, but only if you use my link. And if you have already used Rakuten before and you've gotten your $30 or $40 bonus, then you probably want to use, oh, no, Retail Me Now doesn't have anything, but just you'll just get the 2% cash back, which is still better than nothing. So. There you go there. So, all right, moving on over to Ace, which also gives you some Rakuten cash back. I, let's see if Retail Me Not has anything. Woo! 7% cash back over here with Retail Me Not. So, there you go. Retail Me Not offering 7% cash back over at Ace. And what we have here is a set of ratcheting wrenches by Gear Wrench. You know, Gear Wrench is a good brand, good quality brand. And they're on sale for $49.99. And I'm going to tell you guys, ration and wrenches for good ones, man, they're expensive. So $50 is a, is a pretty good deal. Uh, I don't know that we get. No, we don't get any ACE rewards. Let's see. It usually, again, says it right here. But on the last deal, we had to add it to cart to see. Let's see. View cart and check out. I think the those tool bags are still in there. And they're still $9.99. And nope, this is just $49.99, but yeah, that's a good deal. Um, I did pull the Huskies up because I have uh, the set from Home Depot, the Husky versions. I think I paid the same thing, $50 over the holiday season. And there are better sets out there. Uh, these ratchets only, they're 72 tooth. Then you have some from Milwaukee that are 144 tooth in. You know, they have pivoting heads, but I mean, you're going to pay like, like $500 for that set. Then they have some other ones that are 90 tooth, but again, you're going to pay like triple for the set. The 72 tooth works really well. I have the Husky variants and they're really good. So there you go there. Moving on. Home Depot has, unfortunately, there's no racks and retail me not, but Home Depot has these uh, wire strippers. I have these, and they're really good. Um, they're really well made. I mean, it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee makes pretty good tools most of the time, ninety percent of the time. And this, uh, and these are on sale for fifteen dollars. So there you go. There. Moving on, the deals start to get a little more interesting. There's a lot of comparing. That's why I have so many tabs up. All right, so we have this Bosch drill driver um, combo kit with two batteries a charger and it's 99 dollars. but when you you dig deep and you look at the power behind these things i mean they're 12 volts so they're shaped and have the same compactness of your milwaukee m12s okay so 
everyone has a, a kit like this right now. I think even DeWalt has a kit like this. I'm not bringing up the DeWalt stuff, though. Uh, but, you know, $99, this is brush. is a brush kit. Milwaukee has their own, you know, brush kit here for $99. The Milwaukee's are a, the the impact driver is a little bit more powerful. I can't really get into the the drill because there's no real information on that. The, it just says it's 1300 RPM uh, up to 2600 RPM on the drill, and over here 2500. But the impact driver delivers a thousand inch pounds of torque on the Milwaukee, whereas on this Bosch, it's like nine something. I mean, basically the same. It's nine something. I can't remember what it is, but this comes with two two amp hour batteries. I think I had to go to the Bosch website to see that, but it was like 900 something, uh, which, you know, it's basically the same. Uh, from the pictures, this Bosch set looks a lot more compact than the Milwaukee but again it could just be the pictures you see these Milwaukee's have a slight angle to them I have not um you know I don't really know whether that makes a difference or not I haven't noticed uh when I use like my Metabos I don't think that my Metabos are slanted like that but I I don't know I, that may be beneficial in some situations I don't know I haven't experienced it uh but you know, and there's another one. Now, you have a Craftsman 20-volt kit, which is $100. Now, this is, you know, producing more power, uh, but it's also not as compact with this big battery pack on there where the impact driver is um, produces 1460 inch-pounds of torque. This is also brushed. They're all brushed systems, even the Milwaukee. Uh, and now again, now as for the drill itself, it's talking about that unit watts out nonsense. So we don't really know how powerful or not that is, but just looking at the impact drivers, the craftsman is obviously the more powerful of the bunch, but again, it's also not as compact because of the battery pack. So it's up to you. You know, I, I I'm just putting this information out there. I don't want you to just see the Bosch and jump on that and think that that was the only deal out here. Uh, because it's not, you have a Craftsman, Bosch, and Milwaukee, all of which will pro probably do you well. But uh, if we're talking warranty and long-term service, the Milwaukee does come with a five-year warranty where everything else has a three-year warranty. So that's worth considering also. So anyway, um, moving on, they had this other, uh, the Bosch, the brushless version. I mean, at this point, I'm not really comparing this to anything. I just had it up because at this point, I mean, <clears throat> it depends on, you know, what line you already have of batteries, even though these come with two batteries. I, you know, I don't know. It just depends. Because you could find, again, Milwaukee brushless variants for um, a couple of dollars more, for 20, 20 extra dollars, well, 30 extra dollars, really, uh, and, you know, bigger batteries. So, uh, you know, you know, you know. I think actually, and matter of fact, this is a hammer drill. So this Bosch over here is not a hammer drill. It's just a drill. So, you know, I wouldn't get this. I would get the Milwaukee over this bigger battery, uh, more powerful drill, you know, better warranty. To me, it's worth the, the 30 extra dollars. Uh, but if I've really sat, I think there is a, another brushless version that's not hammered that's going to be a little cheaper, that'd be more comparable to the Bosch. Anyway, let's, let's move on. We, we spent enough time on that. All right. So we back to this thing. I accidentally stumbled across this, this Bosch five in one drill driver. And, you know, I still have this Metabo up. I didn't buy it yet, but I'm still, I've just been looking at it because I, you know, I've been trying to understand it. So why does it say it's a three in one? So I did learn it. I did a lot of research, quite the deep dive on it. And, um, so let's talk about it. So first of all, out of the bunch, ah, it, it's I'm thinking this Metabo is the best deal. The reason I'm saying that, even though it, it only comes with 
two extra adapters in every other one. The Bosch comes with four. The Milwaukee comes with four. But they're all three, four, five in ones, right? So on the Metabo, you can actually use this collet that's on there. This is functional, okay? So if this acts as your, it's not an impact driver, but it acts as a, a hex driver, okay? So it'll hold all your hex bits. So the actual hex driver for it is redundant. Now, do I still have the Metabo site up? I don't. I don't have the Metabo site up anymore, but you can, but now you can purchase the offset uh, adapter for, I think you even buy it here off of Ohio. No, but you can purchase it off of Amazon here for $58. So it just round up, let's say $60 and this is $70 you are $130 in. So you have $130 in, you get one two amp hour battery, the charger, and you basically now have a four in one because you no longer need the impact, uh, not the impact, excuse me, the, the hex adapter. So you may ask, well, why do the other ones come with hex adapters then? Well, let's talk about that. So you see this has a hex adapter and it's more recessed into the drill. So if I, I looked at the instructions, this is how I found that I was, I'm like, what are these people talking about? They always say it's one extra. You got to be able to use this. You can, this is magnetized, but for the Bosch, it's only for light applications only. So we're probably talking about like something that requires 150 inch pounds of torque. You can use it then, but if it requires more than that, then you need this adapter, even though it's the same thing. Matabo seems to have just said, well, that's redundant. Let's just make this one strong. You see this pokes out further. Let's just make that stronger. And over here on the Milwaukee, they're calling it a four and one and you get four bits. So I would assume that this is not usable on its own. I tried to download the, the manual to see what it says. When you see, click here, use and care manual. When you click it, it just gives you the warranty stuff. It doesn't have the manual on there. Then when you click warranty, it just gives you the same link. So I don't know. I would have to buy it just to read the manual. And if we look here at the illustrations, you, we don't see anyone using this. We just see it says four to one dedicated solutions. And so you actually need this hex uh, adapter there. So on the Metabo, you don't necessarily need it. And you just need to buy one extra thing and it becomes a four in one. Now, the reason why I don't like the Milwaukee uh, is because I actually reached out to Milwaukee and asked them, like, well, what happens if I lose one of these? Can I just, like, how much do these cost individually? Because I'm really trying to make an apples to apples comparison here with the Metabo. And they said, we don't sell them individually. You lose one, you need another, you got to buy the whole kit again. What? Uh-uh. I don't like that. See, that, that turned me off to this one. So I couldn't recommend this. If you're going to buy, just be real careful. Now with the Bosch, I did the same thing. You see right here, it says attachments. I had this highlighted. Um, attachments, you don't see any of the extra drivers, right? Any of the attachments that it comes with. So it's like, okay. So I went down and I, all the way down, and I searched for parts, for parts diagram. I tried to order spare parts. Guess what? Same deal. You gotta just buy the whole thing all over again. With Metabo, you can buy these pieces individually, and I appreciate that. The only, and this is the most expensive one. The other ones are like $20. So if you lose one, you could just hit up Metabo and just buy one of these. They're like $19 or $25. They're they different prices, but they're not more than $30. I know that for sure. The most expensive one is the offset one, probably because it didn't come with the kit, and the main kit is super cheap. So... Anyway, I'll say all that to say, if you are interested in that, I would consider the Metabo. It has more power on paper. It has a three-year warranty like the Bosch. Milwaukee does have a five-year warranty, but if you lose one of those pieces, which is possible to do, even though I do like the fact that it comes with a bag, and so it should be harder to lose them, but if you're like actually using it, it slips off and you drop it and it falls in some cavern or something, it's gone, and you have to buy a whole nother tool. Or you could try to search on eBay or something like that. Those, those are That is an alternative. But you'll be getting a used part. You can't get a new one. And there you go. So this is cheaper. A lot more versatile because you can order parts. And, you know, there you go. So anyway, that's that. Moving on. Uh, we talked about the skill. 
Yeah, we talked about that. Yep, we talked about that. So over here on over the lows again. Remember lows. See the Rockleton Paulson. This shop back is forty five dollars. So on sale for forty five dollars. Not a whole lot of money off. Marked down from sixty. Reviews seem to be okay. But you know, forty five dollars not bad for a name brand five gallon shop vac if it works well. Now, what I did not do is look at the cord width. Uh, I recommend, especially if you don't have a shop vac, see the hose diameter is one and a quarter. So I, I, if you already have a shop vac, okay. But to me, your first shop vac should be one that's um, two and a half inches because it works with universal adapters. Oddly enough, I bought a Craftsman. I haven't made the video on. I was I was going to actually edit it tomorrow over the weekend, where they had this gutter extension. So you don't have to get up on a ladder, but I bought it and I have a heart shop back too. And the heart shop back is pretty good, but it also has a, the same one and a quarter hose diameter. And the craftsman kit that came is universal, but it's a two and a half inch hose for two and a half inch hoses. And I find it weird that craftsman even makes non two and a half inch stuff, even though they make, you know, adapters, <laughs> For two and a half inch hose was kind of weird to me, but yeah, and this uh, this is also three peak horsepower, which honestly is not that great. But you know, forty five dollars if you needed something real quick, eh, I would try it, and if I didn't like it, I'd take it back. So moving on, but yeah, this this is like definitely something supplemental, or you needed something in a pinch. If you really needed a shop back and it was your only one, I would I wouldn't recommend this. I get a rigid. Because uh, it also, this only has a three-year warranty. All rigid shop vacs have lifetime warranties. All right, so also we talked about that. All right, so the last thing, last thing, you guys, uh, is this Craftsman 6-Tool Combo Kit for $199. This is actually not that bad. Most of the power tools we discussed today, with the the exception of maybe uh, those those 3-in-1, 4-in-1, 5-in-1, these are all like home diy kits okay this is nothing like super professional this is not like these are not super high-end tools i mean you can get most things done but are you going to be like building a shed probably not you probably could uh with some effort but i mean it's not going to just you know do make slight work of it. but i don't know you never know it depends on what you're using but uh so this is 199 okay this is the same drill and um, impact driver from the this deal. Okay, so we see that's ninety nine dollars alone. So for an extra ninety nine dollars, you get a reciprocating saw, an oscillating tool. This flashlight does not count to me. Uh, a circular saw, and you know you get it back. So you're getting three extra tools. I know there's a flashlight there. I'm not including the flashlight, but you get three extra tools for another hundred dollars. To me, that is worth it. You know, if you have 200 to spend and you like this deal, I feel like you might as well do this if you don't have any of this other stuff. The oscillating tool comes in handy, okay? I don't know how good this one is, but they come in handy. The circular saw, again, also will come in handy if you need to cut some wood. And this reciprocating saw, if you own a home, you need to trim branches and all that, you're going to need this. So to me, this is a, a good deal. And I, I just wanted to show, uh, for comparison's sake, this extra, this kit for $400 is, is the same thing. It's not giving you any like brushless tools or anything uh, like that. It's the same stuff from before, but what you're getting extra is an orbital sander and a jigsaw. That's it. Those two extra things, that's all you're getting extra for an extra $200. Nah, this is a terrible, terrible deal. Don't think, don't even consider this, okay? So, anyway, that's it for the deals today, y'all. It was a long video. At least it seemed long because I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing. I was messing up. Uh, but thank you for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend.